It's not RC. Adventures in Radio Control. Radio Control. <laughs> this will be the Scorpion Backup Guard. Um, the guys down at Scorpion uh, sent me a uh, sent me one of these to review, so uh, let's check it out. So what is a backup guard? Well, basically, this cool little gizmo is a uh, it's a backup battery, basically. Um, this thing has got some electronics in here, and the idea is that uh, if your plane ever loses power for whatever reason, or has any electrical issues, uh, this little gizmo will sense the drop in voltage. I think if it drops below 5 volts, it's like, uh-oh, and it turns itself on, and instantly supplies your receiver with uh, its much-needed power. So that uh, supposedly will help in all sorts of uh, situations where you have power glitches or power losses and all that sort of stuff. Basically what this is, is a 500 milliamp 2 cell LiPo battery. The black plug here plugs into any uh, free channel on your receiver, or if you don't have one you can use a wire adapter. And the white plug, uh, that is used for charging. Uh, you need a, uh, a charger that will uh, balance charge, or they sell, an, I think they can get adapters for it to charge it with a regular charger. So anyway, I would like to review this, and to review this, obviously I need um, an electrical failure of some sort. So I could show you some bench tests and whatnot, but you know what? That's kind of boring. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something exciting here. So to get started, we need one yellow airplane, and one uh, LiPo battery attached to a parachute. On the bottom of the airplane, located exactly at the CG, we're going to have a bomb release system. But we are not going to be dropping bombs, that's like so last Wednesday we've seen that before. No, no, we're going to be doing something completely different. So hopefully by now you've realized where I'm going with this silliness. Yes, we are going to drop the plane's battery right off the plane and uh, see if the backup guard will actually take over and, um, and do its thing. And look at that! It, it works! You know, the plane is, uh, it lost power to the motor, but the uh, control surfaces, the receiver is still happy and it's still functioning. That's pretty cool. But you guys know me. Um, yeah, we're not going to leave it there. Successful test and all, but you know what? That's just a bench test. <laughs> Boring. Let's try this for real. These guys in uh, Scorpion sent me this to do a demo. I'm doing one of my non rc videos with it. And, um, the way I figured the best way, I mean I could just do a bench test, but that's boring. What I want to do is I actually want to take the battery and drop it out of the airplane on a parachute. Of course. So it has no power whatsoever. <laughs> so the idea that's is... That's how we've done too. So <laughs> I got this old bomb release mechanism going on here. Okay, we're ready. We're going to drop the battery out, and hopefully this will take over. put the battery in already. And the plane, the plane I'll, lose, I'll lose the power of the motor, but so it'll keep the... Keep the, the battery uh, will probably control. drag the other thing out so with. theoretically I should be able to land the thing. That's yeah. the plan. <laughs> okay, sir. Possibly go on here. Security, you're gonna have to get this footage. That's plenty secure, right? This plane is actually Rogers, uh, seen here holding the plane right now. Um, it's actually a what is it? It's a GWS Formosa 2. Um, it's a really nice flying airplane, but I should probably mention I've never flown this. Uh, this is a sort of maiden flight for me since I put all this crazy stuff on it. So this may or may not go well. Uh, gonna do a motor run-up test. Going to full power. Okay. This thing does fly, you said, Roger. Rudder's working. Okay, everyone rolling? rolling. Alright, uh, I got a little of a wind. Yeah, okay, you got it. Okay, here we go. Oh She's away. Pass <laughs> here. Alright, so it's running under its normal battery right now, right? 
Everything is fine. We're enjoying the flight. So I need to be upwind. I need to be upwind, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like so we can't see it. <laughs> All right, are we ready? No. Why are you going to be upwind? You're going to land downwind? No, I want to. I'm worried about the parachute, right? Yes. So I'm going to circle here a couple times, and then we're going to release it. All right, we're going to release the battery very, very soon. Stand by. Three, two. Oh, let's see. Let's see the end of it. All right, three, two, one. Oh yeah! So I lost half my tail. <laughs> but I do have control. <laughs> I sort of. I got half an elevator, but. Oh dear God! No! Oh, no. oh darn! All right. Well, the parachute's still going good. Oh. The flight lasted longer than the plane. No, well, that didn't exactly go to plan. Oh. <laughs> I guess the parachute took the tail out. Oh, man. Another, another successful flight. Oh, yeah. This is why we don't do this every day. Nah. This is why we do this when there's nobody on the field. This is why we don't do this at the Sunday field with all the kids. All right. Let's go check out the carnage, I guess. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that didn't go well. I think we might have to take another look at this. Oh yeah, bomb drop uh, mechanism seems to be working pretty good. Ah, uh, looks like the power plug disconnected fine. The parachute wrapping around the tail, on the other hand, that wasn't so fine. So yeah, even though I thought I had some control, uh, yeah, I had no elevator for the rest of the flight, basically, after the parachute released. Yeah, it got ugly towards the end. All right, here we are for take two. We're gonna give this another go. As you can see, I got the plane back together more or less. Um, this time we've wrapped the parachute really tightly. The idea here is that maybe it'll be able to get away from the plane before getting all tangled up in the tail and everything going terribly wrong. So um, let's give it a try, see how it goes. What could possibly go What wrong? could possibly go wrong, right? Big gust of wind is the only problem. That won't happen. All right, only I will ask is you don't launch it up that way. <laughs> That could go bad. Okay, here. All right, ailerons are going the right way. Rudder. Right oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'm gonna do a power test. Don't throw it yet. Going on engine live. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> All righty. Um, we're gonna try this again. Where's the wind going? This one. Okay, just gonna flip around here. All right, here we go. Launch. Woo Let's fly very nice. All right, get up high. Go around one more time. All right, when she comes back towards us, I'm dropping her. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, the wind that day was blowing a fair oh, bit harder than it was right last there. time, so there's a little bit of confusion about maybe where I should release the parachute what? this time. One minute. All right, I'm going to release. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey! I still have control. Look at this. Yeah, camera's on the plane, don't worry about the parachute. I probably could, that would be, well, we tried that last time, it didn't work well. No, film the, uh, Roger, please film the plane. Hey! 
Ah, oh, pulling out a success. Look at that. Oh, jeez, where's my parachute going now? <laughs> Go back. Ah, oh, I have to use the good battery too. All right, well. <laughs> We went, I was gonna launch over there. You made me go over there. Yeah, but you wanted to be way the hell over there. I was way the hell over there. I should have launched when I was over there. Then I would have been over there. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I suppose, yeah. Should be way down there is what I should have been over that tree. Oh well. Is it up in the tree? I guess we'll go find out. All right, Chris. Uh, how good was that battery? That was one of my good batteries. It's up in the tree now. Up yeah, in the tree. Yeah, I think we can kiss that battery goodbye. I had an old beat up one I was gonna use too, but no, I had to use the good one, right? Well, this time went much better, as you can see. Um, you got a nice clean release on the, on the uh, parachute, and you can see the, uh, the ailerons there, the control surfaces are still moving. I have a tail this time, that's good. So I guess without power to the motor, the speed controller's braking function doesn't work, so my propeller's freewheeling the whole time. But that's not too bad. I'm used to flying gliders, so you know, you just uh, keep the nose down and uh, keep the airspeed up and um, bring her in dead stick. Touchdown and we're still in one piece, right for the uh, Scorpion backup guard. So there you have it, that's the Scorpion backup guard. Um, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with this, that definitely uh, would save the day under a lot of circumstances where you have issues with your uh, power. Um, yeah, it did the job here, uh, it saved the plane. So um, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up, that's pretty cool stuff. And just in case this video has given you some ideas about maybe dropping stuff out of your airplane, if you're gonna do that, you know, please be as sensible about it. Uh, use some common sense and, and, you know, for goodness sakes, stay safe out there. Take care, until next time.